Today, we talk about the number one complaint of your clients, of your sellers and of your buyers. Because the number one complaint that we talk about today is your ability to follow up with that client. Yes, it's true. It's the number one complaint of your clients that you're just not following up with them. And because you're not following up with them, they lose interest to be working with you. They just go cold and you lose them as a trusted client. So today we talk about follow up till you drop. Yes, follow up till you drop. Make it a daily habit to follow up with your clients and make sure you are checking every day who is ready to work with you and which client needs a little bit more time. There are actually four categories that we talk about that can help you in looking how you follow up with those clients. Those four categories are actually exactly where those clients are in the process in doing business with you. So we want to talk to you those four categories, four ways to help you follow up with your clients. Category number one. The category number one is actually the general public. Everybody, because everybody needs real estate. Everybody needs a place to live in and everybody needs, it will at some point sell a house or want to buy a house or want to rent a house, so everybody. So you must always follow up with them at least on a monthly basis to check in with them if they are ready to go into real estate, either buy, sell or rent. With you following up with them once a month, you will remind them that you are ready to do business with them. And if they are ready, they will definitely reply to you. Okay, let's go to follow up category number two. This is your target market. Your target market is basically everybody you want to meet. A business card that you got at a network event and you want to meet this person. This is basically, you haven't met them yet, but you want to meet them as soon as possible. So how do you follow up with them? At least once a month, you touch with a specific message, a personal message, inviting them to meet with you. The goal of the whole follow-up is an appointment. Nothing else, just an appointment where you want to talk to them about what you do. Let's move on to follow-up category number Number three. Number three is a very interesting group, what we call the people that you already have met. You had an appointment with them and during that appointment you recognized what interest they have in real estate and to do business with you. And it's very important, it's crucial that you as a real estate agent start following up after that meeting. And now you don't do it once a month, no, you do it every single week. Remind them that you had an appointment with them and that you would still love to do business with them. We call this the weekly follow up with the clients you already have met. Let's go to the most exciting one, follow up category number four. It's the most exciting group because this is what we like to call the hot pot. What's the hot pot? These are clients that are ready to move with you and you have to now be fully focused and we call focused on a daily basis you need to follow up with them. See what they are, see if they're ready to make a decision, see if they have any questions, see if they are ready to take that next step and you don't want to be too late. You don't want to get them to go cold again because that means you have to start all over again. So your hot pot is your most exciting follow-up structure where you need to go to them on a daily basis. So these were the four categories for your follow-up structure and I know what you're about to say. Don't my clients think that my follow-up is very annoying? That they don't like me to follow up? Well, let me tell you this. You are annoying to your clients. It's not because of the follow-up. It's about how you bring the message in the follow-up. It's all about the message, about specific questions that you ask, how you care about them, and that you generally have an interest to work with them. So if the message is good, the follow-up will never be annoying. Thank you for watching this week. We will see you next week again. Bye-bye.